All right, this is Power SDR 2.7.2 GPL. This is open source code, and I've been using Visual Studio 2010 to modify it. And the first thing I did is I added the meters for both uh, ARCs 1 ARCs 2. You go to Setup, Appearance, Meter, and then you've got two additional meters. Here's one for the old TR7. It's not calibrated as good as I would have wanted, but the scale is not as linear as it should be. And then the other analog, which is mathematically generated, just like the edge meter, so it maintains perfect accuracy. And then the next thing I added was the ability to keep panfall on it's on right now for RX-1 when I enable RX-2. RX-2 is in pan adapter mode. RX-1 maintains the pan fall by dividing the screen into thirds. So the top is the spectrum for RX-1, the waterfall for RX-1, and then the spectrum for RX-2. Now I just added a new mode, which is pan fall for RX-2. This divides the screen into four quadrants, the spectrum for RX-1, the waterfall for RX-1, and then the spectrum for RX-2, and the waterfall for RX-2. Now the problem with that is when you have the waterfalls, there are different intensity levels. So in the display panel, I added the ability to change the RX-2 waterfall low level. And then in addition to that, I noticed on the microphone, the, the waterfall level is always too bright <clears throat> and washed out, so I added a microphone level so that when you key the radio, you can uh, adjust the output so it's not hot pink like it usually is. And that's all I've done so far. And more to come.